Hi, this is Manish Jain, your career coach and in today's video, we will see how to make a resume for a fresher. In the previous video, we saw how to make a resume for the experienced candidates and in today's video, we will focus on making a resume for a fresher. So starting with, this is the format we're going to use. So first comes your name and followed by your surname. Okay. So if it is like Manish, it's Manish and then your surname that is Jane, Manish Jane. Okay. And then comes your city name, okay, which city you belong to and you can just write India or you can even skip that as well. You don't need to mention a complete address. I see so many resumes when I take interviews or when candidates approach me for resume making. I see a complete address which is just waste of precious space on the resume because no recruiter will send you anything by post. So please skip the address part and just include your city name. And then we follow up with the phone number and which is in 91 plus your phone number here. And we go for a professional email ID. So guys, please make sure that you avoid using Sweetie123 or uh, Rocky Suresh 145 and so on such kind of email IDs and it doesn't give a professional look. So always have your email ID wherein there is your name and followed by a surname like say Suresh dot uh, Jane. So it's Suresh dot Jane or you can use some number if you don't get it in your name. So Suresh 124 or 123 that's still okay but don't use fancy names and nicknames, okay? And uh, then you have to put in your LinkedIn URL, which is again, uh, you have to customize it, remove the end uh, numbers, which comes to the default URL. You have to edit the LinkedIn URL and you have to put a professional LinkedIn URL, okay? Uh, and this is the top header part. And then we move on to education. So since you are a fresher, we have to focus on education first. If you were, uh, experienced person we would have put education in the end but here in uh, freshers resume we put education first okay so first is what have you studied say uh, mba from so and so university so we put the latest course first it is into a reverse chronological order the latest course come first and uh, we put which place and from when to when have you finished your education so if you've done engineering, you say bachelor of engineering and you put a branch in what you've done your major in computer science. If you've done MBA, you put MBA major in corporate finance or import export or whatever. And since you are a fresher, I suggest to highlight your marks here. In case you were experienced people, then marks doesn't play any relevance. A CGPA even out of 9 out of 10 after 10 years of experience doesn't really count. But for fresher marks do matters because many companies even give a cutoff like 70%, 80%. As per that, the resume gets shortlisted. So you can put your marks here or CGPA here and you can put some relevant coursework what you have done, uh, which are important subjects you have studied like software engineering, operating systems, artificial intelligence, mathematics. Okay. So this subject name or the coursework names will act as a keywords okay and any extra certification which you have done you can also mention it here after your coursework and uh, next comes your first post graduation then graduation so you can again put your what you have studied bcom ba B, whatever and which university you done it from and again your marks then comes finally your 12th and 10th standard followed by your marks okay so this is a complete section for the education thing all right and then we move on to internship and project details so since you're not experienced you have to show your internship and your project experience as part of your work experience which you do it very smartly so here we put like internship and project experience so when you've done this uh, during your graduation or post graduation you can just mention it here followed by the university name and uh, you can mention whether you are a summer internship or you are research intern then by the company name you can mention it here and the period from when to when you have done this particular internship okay you can mention it on the right hand side 
and then most important part is you use some action verbs to highlight your accomplishments and wherever possible you can also use some matrices for example you can see here uh, given example here led the transition so the word led here is the action verb okay similarly there are so many action verbs which i have shared on my various posts so you can even use action verb like accomplish administered governed and so on okay so let the transition from manual to automatic trans automation tracking system and reduced cost of 30% so this 30% here is a matrices okay so this is very very important say for example you have done an internship in marketing then you can mention what is the revenue that you got for your company generated a revenue even generated is an action verb generated a revenue of 2 lakh plus during my summer internship in banking sector or asset sector whatever right so the matrix is very very important it could be either in percentage value or it could be in terms of rupee value or in any other way okay so try to put a couple of your accomplishment don't go a big list of 5 to 6 uh, this one just mention at the max 2 okay and then we follow up with uh, your next internship or a project during your graduation even that also you can mention it here in a similar fashion and try to include different different action verbs and uh, again wherever possible try to use uh, relevant matrices then comes the uh, second most important part and that is uh, your voluntary work so if you part of any social organization be it uh, rotary lions uh, we have cii young indians and uh, there's so many other organization right uh, we have rotaract for the uh, people who are below 18 then we have uh, so many the organization we have uh, toastmasters for public speaking right so try to include those uh, which organization you are part of here okay and if you have done some any college activity so you can like or any project you done in the college that also can be mentioned here like for example i given here founded the first ever activity show to organize finance training for 500 students then organized and advertised again these are action verbs 10 plus monthly networking events with 100 plus participants in three cities of karnataka right so try to put this position and if you are a part of any uh, if you are heading some being a chairman or secretary please mention at what position did you work okay so this is very very important part because companies just love to see uh, you taking up voluntary work right so please mention that those things here and then you can also mention if you part of any annual gaming event or any annual, annual competition or inter college festival if you part of or any fest or something like that so you can see here like we have written x y z 3 day hackathon so most of the computer science uh, engineering branches they organize hackathon so if you part of any such hackathon or any such event you can mention that and again you can see here we have used action verbs led team of four to design and implement android application using java php and angular in 3 day hackathon so again this words of like java php angular act as a keywords so if you are applying for any position as php angular this will act as a keywords for you in getting your resume through the ats system you can check my video on ats and how to make ats compliant resume and this whole resume what i am showing to you today also is a ats compliant resume okay then again presented demo and pitch to the xyz company so you are part of any entrepreneurial club and you done any pitching event even that also you can mention and got awarded second prize based product quality out of 20 plus teams so this is very very important guys uh, whenever you show that you have achieved something or you got any certification or a prize you have to mention that for what you got it for when you got this and how many participants were there among how many people you got this prize that's very very important that shows it's a real accomplishment and not just something uh, on surface or elementary okay so that part is done and then we move on to uh, the last part which is uh, skills activities and interest so you can mention here a technical skills we can mention here like core skills java php angular or if you're a civil engineer you can mention your cad skills project management skills or structural designing skills skills and if you are a mechanical engineer you can mention like matlab or other uh, cad courses that you have learnt analysis skills and all 
or you don't any six sigma quality certification that you can mention here okay and then any the activities which is related to your college and projects okay and finally your certification this again act as a keyword for the uh, job description like any certification you have done in machine learning or python when you have done this please mention it right guys so that's complete your uh, whole uh, cv uh, for a fresher so a word of advice for you guys here is like uh, whatever free time you get please upskill yourself by taking up some free training or some uh, paid certification training you can get uh, linkedin premium you can subscribe for one month and get ample number of courses as per your domain and your interest and those training program also you can mention it right and you can also have the many other websites like google garage udemy shaw academy and many others so try to take up those training program try to include as part of a resume because a fresher you have to look out for ways to add more value and weightage to your cv and again as i mentioned be part of social groups like rotary cii tai rti toastmasters lions and so on and do take up internship whenever you are not getting a job immediately after campus it could be free or paid even if it is free as well it doesn't really matter because what matters is that you gain experience initially and that free internship what you do gives you right to mention that in your cv guys so whenever you get relevant internship where you get a lot of learning opportunities guys please go for it because initially you do it for free because you're learning and once you get skilled in that people will pay you for that particular skill all right guys so i hope you like this uh, video and you want this particular format cv uh, you can just put a comment uh, with your email id and i will mail this to you and uh, do let me know what are the videos you want to see in the domain of job search or in domain of upskilling yourself or anything else and i would like to make that particular video for you all right so this is manish jain signing off and i see you soon in the next video